Hello there. Uh, in our lesson today, we would like to look at Form 2 work. And uh, I have picked on indices following a request from the viewers. And in this uh, lesson, we would like to remind ourselves some of the laws of indices, how they are come about and how we can apply them in uh, simplifying given expressions. Later, we'll be able to apply the same in uh, the topic on logarithms. So this is a very important topic for the foundation for other topics like logarithms in Form 2 and in Form 3. So let's remind ourselves, in uh, our introductory topic, we saw that 2 raised to 3 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. In the same way, 2 squared is simply 2 times 2. This therefore means that if we are multiplying 2 cubed by 2 squared, we would need to multiply all this. 2 cubed times 2 squared therefore becomes 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This is a very lengthy process, but there is something we can see from here that uh, when you multiply 2 raised to the power of 3 by 2 raised to 2, we are getting 2 raised to the power of 5. We can see, therefore, that uh, the 3 and the 2, the indices, have been added to get the 5. So instead of always writing this uh, in the long form, we can apply a law generally that states that a raised to x multiplied by a raised to y will give us a raised to x plus y. And that, I think that's what we've seen. We've seen that 2 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 2 is the same as just saying the base raised to the sum of the, these two. Even in this case, the 3 was got by adding 1 and 1 and 1. The 2 are also that way. And therefore it is correct to generalize that if the base is the same, and then we are, and we are multiplying, then we can simply uh, add the powers. So this is, we can take this to be our law number one. And let's see what happens if we are dividing. Example. Let's just take a simple one, like 2 raised to the power of 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2. Th th this would mean 2, 5 times. divided by 2, 2 times. And we see what this gives us. We get 2 raised to the power of 3. We could have gotten the same by simply subtracting 2 from 5. And we are going to look at more examples, but we can see, we can state the law generally that um, as long as the bases are the same, if we are dividing, it is possible to simplify the expression by simply subtracting the indices. And that takes us to our law number two. Our law number one is here. We want to look at the situation where 
the bases are different. And we take an example like three squared multiplied by two squared. In this case, we see the bases are different, but the powers are the same. Now, we know 3 squared, we know it's 9, and 2 squared is 4, that gives us that is 6, or we could have said 3 times 3 times 3, no, 3 times 3 times 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. And we can see clearly that uh, the, 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 the product of these two actually gives us 6 squared. Or you, you can say 3 by 2 squared. We can generalize again and say a power x multiplied by b power x it will give us a b raised to x and that becomes our third law of indices. We can uh, apply the same in uh, division and see what uh, happens. The similar law, the law similar to this in the case of division. And let's see what we get when we divide squared by 2 squared. This is the same as 9 divided by 4. And this gives us 3 squared over 2 squared. And that's uh, 3 over 2 squared. So we could give a general law that uh, a power x divided by b power x is a divided by b all raised to x. And this becomes our law number four. For today we are going to stop there. And, but in the next lesson we are going to look at more of the laws of indices. Remember to subscribe so that we can be together in the next lesson.